What's happening guys, Cameron here, and today I'm going to show you how to import photos from Photoshop using Illustrator into Cinema 4D. This was requested by Blood IV, so I um, hope this helps you out, man. So pretty much what you're going to do is open up Photoshop if you don't have Illustrator, and then you're going to go import an image that you want to put in, so I'm just going to put in this OM sign here. Alright, so pretty much, what you want to do is pretty much use the magic wand tool or cut out the stuff that you don't want to show. So I'm just going to delete that, and I want to import all that into Cinema 4D. So once you do that, like if you really wanted to, you could cut some of this out, just to show you. And then what you're going to do is right click on the little circle square here and then go select pixels then you want to click on paths right click oh so no sorry over here on this little arrow click make work path just click ok and then just leave it how it is and then go file export paths to illustrator click ok for work path and you're going to save this to whatever you want so I'll just Save this to Alright, so now once you've done that, you're going to put it in the Cinema 4D, so if we can find it, here it is... There, so you just want to drag this in, click OK, and here it is here. Now it's just a wireframe object, so Obviously, you're going to have to add extreme nerves, so just drag them up into the extreme nerves like that. Oh. Pretty much just like this. And then just select them, you can change obviously that to 80, that's what I like. Like so. Then you can add your caps, your fillet caps if you really want to. Like so. And what you got is your image in Cinema 4D. And then if you have lots of different objects, like say in here, you know how sometimes you can't get every single little dot? There's like little dots, they will come up in Cinema 4D, so you might have. I don't know, a couple of, I don't know, maybe 10 to 50 of these little things, so you just will have to go through and delete them all and all that. Then what you can do is just rotate all these and shit, however you want it. Do that, move it around and crap. So, hope that helps, and I'm going to also show you how to save it in Photoshop as a, like a PNG, so you don't have to like, crop it, if you know what I mean. So what you're going to do is go to your presets, go to film video, HDV, HDTV, 720, 2997, you want to go save, you want to go to format, you want to set it to PNG, click alpha channel, and then save it to what you want. I'll just save it as Like McSo. What the freak? Like so. And then just click render. Obviously, it's only going to do that one frame because that's what I had it on. Alright, then what you can do is. This will be it here. It w you'll know if it works if it comes up with like clear. And then all you have to do is just drag that in. And there you go. See, so it's got rid of the background so you get a chance to. Right, so that's neater looking way to do it. So I hope this tutorial helped you out. Any questions or any other tutorials you want me to do? Um, Feel free to drop a comment like Blood V did. So, um, yeah, thanks.